So guys, let's continue. The next thing we need to do will be to add the item selected event handler to our bottom navigation view. We want to do it in such a way that when we click on home, it will take us to our home fragment. When we click on earnings, it will take us to our earnings fragment. When we click on rating, it will take us to our ratings fragment, right? So guys, without much ado, let's get right into it. And also, we need to add some customizations to our bottom navigation view as well. So we're going to go to our connect view method. And I'm going to add some customization first of all. So I'm going to say bnve dot enable shifting mode. I'm going to disable this. I'm going to set it to false. And I'm going to say bnve dot enable shifting mode. I'm going to set this to false as well. So these two methods that we have here will always make our labels to be visible. So like right here, we have ratings. Um, my home was supposed to be showing and my account was supposed to be showing. And also it seems we have a mistake. We need to change this as well to the account image. But before that, let's go ahead and continue. So finally, I'm going to say BNVE dot navigation item selected plus equal to so our item selected event handler has been created for us. So when a new menu item is selected, we want to do something, okay? So we're going to say if e.item.itemid is equal to resource.id.action earnings. So let's start with earnings, okay? So when we click on earnings menu, we want to switch our view pager to show up the earnings fragment, all right? So we're going to say view pager dot set current item we're going to pass it the index of the item so earnings is the second fragment so that means that the index will be one and we're going to set this to true so we also need to do the same thing when we click on home so i'm going to say else if e dot item dot item id equal to resource dot id dot action home so we're going to say view pager dot set current item and this is going to be zero because the home is actually our first fragment. So I'm going to set this to true. So the next one will be All right, guys, so we are done with this. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to change the colors, all right? So for instance, when we click on home, we want to change the color of the icon and also the color of the text. In such ways, whoever is using the app will know that, yeah, we are in the home fragment, all right? So to do that, we're going to create a new method. So this method, I'm going to call it void B and V E to R sent color. So we need to know at what point we want to apply this color, right? So if we are actually in our home fragment, then the index is supposed to be zero. So when we receive the index of three, we know that we're supposed to apply the ascent color to our account menu. And also, if our index is two, we now know that we should apply the ascent color to our rating menu. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and do that. First of all, we need to set all of them to white with the icon image and the text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say var img equal to bmve dot get icon get icon at one then var test tst equal to bnve dot get large label at one as well so the next thing we are going to do is to say img dot set color filter so I'm going to say color. So let's bring in the color namespace, okay? Which is this. So I'm going to say color dot RGB, okay? I'm going to pass this two five five, two five five, two five five. So this defines white, 
all right so i'm going to close up this i'm going to do the same thing for our test so tst dot set set test color i'm going to pass it a color as well the white color to be precise rgb255255255 all right boom so this is all we need to do so we need to do the same thing for the four menu we have all right so i'm going to go ahead and copy this we need to add zero to this add zero to this zero and zero so the index will be zero and zero so let's do the same thing for the index of two and three So lastly, we are now going to apply our ascent color to the appropriate index, okay? So I'm now going to say var img index. This will be equal to bnve dot get icon at index. So I'm going to do the same thing. This should be equal to bnve dot get large label at index okay so finally i'm going to say image index dot set color filter so this way i will now set the color filter of the icon that we just clicked on all right so i'm going to set this to color dot rgb so we are going to use 24191242 so this is what we'll be using we're going to do the same thing for our text index as well and lastly we're going to say test index dot set this color and this is going to be color the rgb 24 242 so we are done with this so the next thing we're going to do is to assign our ascent color to our home menu this is because the home fragment is the first fragment that is going to show when we launch our app so we want the ascent color to already be applied to the home menu right so we're going to go to our connect views so i'm going to call the to ascent method all right so here we're going to pass it the index of zero the reason is because our home fragment is the first fragment in the list of our fragments all right so now that we've set this let's go to our navigation item selected so whenever the user selects a new menu want to assign the ascent color to the appropriate menu right so in this scenario we're going to say bmve to ascent color we're going to pass it one as the index just the way we have it in the view page of the sent current item method we're going to do the same thing here so we're going to say bmve to ascent color we're going to pass it zero we'll do the same thing here in this regard we're going to pass it two as our index and lastly we're going to pass it three as our index so guys we are done with this For, to ensure that this works properly we'll go ahead and run our app but before we do that we need to call our connect views in the onCreate method so i'm going to say connect views and we're done so guys let's go ahead and run our app okay so our app is up and running so we're going to go ahead and click earnings boom and it works ratings as you can see the accent color is being applied to our menu all right and this works so before we forget we need to change this icon and also choose a much darker primary color so guys before we end the class let's go ahead and do that let's go to our colors the xml So our primary color, we're going to change it to 0E1526, all right? And our primary dark, I'm going to change it to something else as well. I'm going to change it to 010205. I think this would be okay. This would be a much darker shade. Uh, I think our ascent color is fine. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, lastly, to change the icon, we're going to load up our bottom navigation view menu. So let's go to menu. And load up this file 
right? So we need to change this drawable with the appropriate image. So we're going to copy this and paste it here. So now that we are done, let's go ahead and run our app and see this in action. Boom. Okay, so we've changed the icon and also our primary color is much more deeper. So if you guys agree with me, this looks much better than the one we had initially. So guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next class.